Hey guys, we're going to cover the basics of opposition. Uh, this is when, when learning opposition, one of the very first positions you should start with when learning. Um, or you could even do it with, without the pawn on the board just to just to show what, uh, what opposition is. But we're going to show one of the, uh, the main scenarios you would use opposition. Um, so think of opposition as like being in a hallway and somebody's got to step out of the way. So obviously kings can't be uh, next to each other, they create a little force field. So we're going to take advantage of that little force field. So I'm going to run through this position. Obviously, queen is or white is trying to queen the pawn, and black's going to try to stop it. All right. Uh, notice here, black tried to play a tricky move, stepping off to the side, so black could try to regain the opposition, but it won't matter, and we'll see why in a second. All right. So black backs up, and here's where white gains the opposition. Um, it had, white had distant opposition earlier on. We'll go over distant opposition in a minute, but here's the, your, your direct opposition. Black cannot enter the position. Black has to either, black has to either step off to the side or one of these, uh, back squares or uh, basically black has to retreat. And, um, so white has the opposition here. So black steps off to the side and white steps off to the side. Usually when um, taking advantage of the opposition, that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to step the opposite direction. Uh, white chooses to advance the pawn because he doesn't have anything to worry about. Uh, black can't come here because of the pawn. And all of these squares are covered by the king. So black's only hope is to cover the queening square here. So let's see if black's able to do it. All right, black backs up. And we advance the pawn and you think oh no we gave up the queening square right but white takes the opposition here's that same position we talked about um but now oh come on all right so now the king has to step to one of these side squares it's all it has left so just like before all right black went to the right we'll go left and notice there these squares are uh, taken up by the white king. Um, white king has opposition, all right? So black stepped here, um, so white has the opposition. So you want to be the person to step to the, 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 the opposing square last. Um, so you, it would look like here um, blacks regain the opposition, but where white has a pawn, we have this is essentially like a, a waiting move. Um, and here opposition doesn't matter at all because the pawn is so close to queening. Um, and, and the king is controlling all of these squares, so op opposition no longer matters here. All right, so d6 check, king e8, d7 check, king e7, d8 queen. Um, there are scenarios when you can um, blunder this endgame, or, or maybe your position is uh, a little bit different to where the, um, let's say you try to advance the pawn first. Um, this isn't going to work uh, because black's going to get a draw out of this. This, this is an easy draw. Um, black's going to maintain the opposition easily. So step off, uh, or excuse me, um, black steps on the same color square and notice there's an odd number of squares between. So this is distant opposition. You could do it even if the, uh, Kings were like this, you know, that's distant opposition, same color square, odd number between there's five, uh, five squares between. All right. But anyway, uh, white's move. All right. So let's say white advances here. Okay, we'll just go here. It's more opposition. And then black obviously can't go here or here uh, because the pawn covers those squares, so we'll step straight back. White's going to advance. Black steps off to the side. And you would think, oh, but we're going to lose the opposition. No, we'll step right here because now white cannot advance. White has to go here. Otherwise, white loses the pawn. All right, so steps off to the side. And as usual, king goes straight back. That way, as the king comes here, you get on the same square, you get opposition again keep the king from entering the position so you're keeping the king behind the pawn you back straight up king comes off to the side and now we get in this stalemate position because king comes back here oh not a knight there we go all these squares are covered stalemate so that's the position you want to look for when you're down to a lone pawn so don't resign your games when your your opponent has a pawn and you got nothing because you can get this exact position if you know how to utilize opposition so we're going to get into another position where you can use opposition where there's many pieces on the board or not pieces excuse me uh many more pawns on the board so notice white wants to take 
these pawns down. Obviously white can't get to this pawn right away without taking down the base of the pawn chain. Black wants to come here or here if possible. The pawns control these squares and black's pawns control these squares. So notice this is the only corridor that the uh, kings can go through. They can't go through the side. All right, and obviously white can't go through the side either. So let's see what happens. King b7, king f3, king c6, king e2, king d5, king d3, opposition. All right, so now these squares are blocked, but they were blocked anyway by the, the black pawns. Somebody's trying to enter the corridor. Let's see what black does. Black steps straight back, and white advances, taking the opposition again, and white has to do something. So white, or excuse me, black steps off to the side, and white enters the position. All right, there's, there's many different ways to play that from there, but uh, notice now black is lost. These, these squares, these squares are covered by the king and this pawn, and then this pawn is going to roll all the way forward and with no problems, and that's game over. Um, but what if back here, instead of black stepping straight back, it stepped off to the side? So king advances, the only way to go. All right, black king takes opposition. White king backs up, triangulating, which we'll get into triangulation later in another video. Uh, king d5, king d3, now white takes the opposition. So both players knowing how to triangulate and use opposition, this could go on forever like this. So this is a draw. This is a draw on endgame. But you can take advantage of your opponent um, if they don't know how to use opposition and win um, potentially drawn or lost games. All right. So that's it on opposition. Um, that's your, your basics of opposition. Next, we'll get into shouldering, triangulation, and outflanking. If you have any questions, comment below. See you next time, guys.